you take the reverse commute, you're not going to follow the well-worn path. I'm a fan for that reason, just from a business standpoint. But really, let's let's talk about what's in between the covers of the book and what's between, you know, the first frames and the last frame of your movie, which is called Beyond Impossible. That's the information that I think can actually change people's lives. And I know you've seen it firsthand for the last 20, 30 years, but sum it up for us like we're small backward children. The book, as I said, it, it opens up with me sitting in a meeting um, with the gay mafia in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it reads like something that's... I'm, in, I'm over at Gallon Maury, Sandy Gallon, Sand mm-hmm. Dollar, and um, I'm, they have me sitting there. This All two stories in this book, it seems like it's made up. And they're saying, we understand that you're the quick weight loss guy here in Hollywood. And I was going, yeah, okay, let, let's go with that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm the quick weight loss guy. And they said, well, we have a problem. This is in the days, Mike, when they still had 42 sitcoms on the air. Mm-hmm. And um, they said, we, we have this young lady and we're doing a sitcom and uh, we're making her the Asian Lucille Ball. <laughs> and, um, but she didn't test well. It was Margaret Cho. Everyone uh-huh. figured out it was Margaret Cho. Right. And um, she's too heavy. And they said, we need you to get 30 pounds off of her. And I said, okay. <laughs> and they said, you have six weeks. And I started going, you know, cut off a leg. I'm doing that (laughs) almost like it was in a movie. Sandy Gallen writes something on a piece of paper. He folds it and he pushes it to me. I open it up and there was a number on it that I had never seen before. And um, he said, we'll give you a check for half of this up front. If you deliver in six weeks, you'll get the other half. And I said, okay. Here we go. (laughs) So I took 30 pounds off of Margaret Cho in no time and they retested her and they came back to me. I'm sitting in that room again. Now there's Disney execs. There's all these people. And I said, then you've done a wonderful job. You did. You took 32 pounds off of her, (sighs) but her face is still fat. (laughs) Can you take weight out of her face? And I said, you guys realize that she's Korean, right? <laughs> and the room exploded. This is 1992. Mm-hmm. Um, we just want the record to show the record. We want the record to show that this is not us. This is Mr. Tortoris that said these words. We mentioned nothing about her ethnicity and blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking around going, what just happened? Right. And they said, can you get more weight off of her? And I said, how much more? And they said, Whatever you can do, because we're going to make her the next Lucille Ball. She's funny. The college kids love her. And I do. I take another 25 or so pounds off of her. And she shoots her sitcom. The sitcom is supposed to be the biggest thing that ever happened. She's on Letterman. And Letterman goes, you've lost all of this weight. How did you do it? This guy, Vinny. Every agent in town is writing down, get this Vinny on the phone. She's on Leno. How did you lose the weight, Vinny? She's on the guy, dog pound, who, 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 um, Arsenio. Mm -hmm. How did you lose all the weight, Vinny? She put me in her act. You can still go on YouTube and find me in her act. She does a whole 10 minutes on me and some of her specials. Wasn't Margaret the one, Vinny, um, who would walk out on stage? I mean, she's clearly Korean, but she had like a (laughs) Southern accent, right? What's wrong with this picture? No, 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 no. She, no. Um, that that was another one. That, that's a that's a whole different Asian. You you've confused your oh, Asians. No. No, let, the my, let the record Mike, show. Let the record show that oh, Mike no. confused. You know, last week you had on one of my favorites, uh, uh, the Money Guy, and oh, this Dave week Ramsey. you've committed some kind of yeah. I love Ramsey. God, yeah, he's awesome. And this week you've committed. Some kind of hate crime. This is great. I'm glad, <laughs> glad to be on your last show, by the way. Yeah, um, thank you. But um, no, Margaret is from 